Shut up and sit down. World-class cannabis seeds. Available online or in stores. Yo, what up OGs? Grow420 Guide here and welcome back to Season 6 Continued. Currently day 5 of germination and day 1 of our sprouted little seedlings. Um, so yeah, we're going to take a quick look at our germination station, which is right down here. We're going to go ahead and move this off the heating pad for now. Bring it over here where we have a little more light to work with. A little bit too much light to work with. It's a little better. Get the tripod up and going, and then we're gonna take a look at our girls germinating on this plate first, our little seedlings, and then we'll take a look at what's going on in the Dixie cups. So, day five of germination. Last night, I overslept. Um, I overslept and I neglected the paper towels. When I woke up this morning, they were completely dry, like dried to like the bare bone touch like every bit of moisture within these seeds was gone or this paper towel was gone um so i like woke up in a panic freaked out got water on these paper towels asap took a look at the seedlings and they were like really sad and wimpy and i was like no i'm gonna lose these seedlings um but after a few hours of being back on um Actually, I removed them from the heat pad too because the plate itself was hot, the paper towels were hot, they were dry. It was just a bad situation all around. So we added the water, we took them off the heat pad. A few hours later, we came back, we checked on them. Um, they were looking much better, the plate had cooled down. So at that point, we put the plate back onto the heating pad and just let them ride out the rest of the day. But I have to say, they are looking 100% better. I really thought we were gonna lose these seedlings. Um, but I think we are still gonna manage to get these girls to be planted and sprouted. Um, so this is the New York City diesel. This is the farthest behind, um, I guess, in the germination um, cycle out of all of these plants. Why is this not going down? Okay, it's not going down because it can't go down any farther. Um, so you can see that taproot is showing right there. It's a very small taproot. And um, from the damage caused this morning with the paper towel drying out, we've, we've stunted today's growth, basically. That seed has looked like that since this morning when I woke up and paper towel was dried. We should have seen a bunch of progression today. Um, but that's not the case. Like I said, we stunted it by letting it dry out. So all we can do now is um, basically wait. Today is gonna be the recovery day for the seed, so I'm hoping overnight tomorrow I see much more progression out of our NYCDA here. Our green crack is looking rather nice though. Take a look at her. Now, this taproot on this seed was very wimpy. It was a little yellow in color. It was just, it was literally about to die off. But as soon as we hydrated this paper towel, this seed came back to life. She's looking just so much better. And um, we're gonna give her, I don't know, I'm thinking maybe plant her later tonight, possibly tomorrow. Actually, realistically, I think we're gonna plant her tomorrow. And I hope that the NYCDA is ready to plant tomorrow too, because I am gonna be going back down south to my parents' house my roommate's actually going back down um, there to visit his mom. So I figured, you know, I'm going to take the advantage of him going back down there and visit my parents and grab a few things because there was quite a few things that I left behind. Um, so, yeah, it just figured, it just worked out for the better. You know, instead of driving back alone, got that company. Um, but I am worried about my setup here because these girls are in such a fragile state of their life where I can't really neglect them for a day um, you know I'm gonna need to be here to make sure that their soil is moist and just to make sure that everything is just going going good I mean uh, 
when you get deeper into veg and even midway through flower your plants are almost self-sustaining for a couple of days like you water them you give them your feeding schedule or whatever they're good for like three four days and um depending on climate and where you live and stuff um but that's not the case with with sensitive little seedlings that require your love and attention and um and water almost daily now we watered the last time we watered these seedlings was yesterday let me go ahead and drop down this iso bit make it a little more visible for you guys let's go ahead and zoom in on this train wreck back here now this train wreck seedling was the first one to pop just going to go ahead and adjust this real quick and you can still see the seed casing on it it's actually got some perlite and some soil stuck on the top of it too i've just left it as is i haven't gone in there and, and helped it at all um, I am going to take some pictures of it under a macro lens, and then I do believe uh, tomorrow, if it hasn't kicked off that casing itself, I'll go in there and I'll help it uh, get that off. Because if you leave the casing on, um, sometimes that like cell membrane can like keep your chitlidone leaves like stuck together, and this can actually um, prevent your seedling from, from growing. You can lose a few days um, within your cycle just because the plant is restricted from opening up and progressing. And um, it just doesn't kick it off all the way sometimes. Sometimes you need to actually get in there yourself and get that shell casing or that cell membrane off. So let's take a look at our next train wreck. Now our train wrecks are the most progressed so far. Now this one is just popping its head out of the soil there. You can see your little neck just springing up there. Oh, that's a pretty shot. I have not turned her around. There we go. That's what we like to see there. She's just pushing that soil, all that bark off of her. That's good. That's good. It's going to strengthen her little stalk there. It's like when a caterpillar um, goes into a cocoon and then is about to like evolve into a butterfly. Like It bites a little hole through the cocoon, and if like a human helps it, it's not able to force the blood like to its wings and stuff you know it's just good for, for the insect just like just like letting the plant kind of do its own thing here it's, it's good for the plant you know you want them to to be nice and resilient and strong plants from the get-go you don't want to be be helping them from the very beginning i mean obviously we're gonna have to help this girl if she doesn't kick that off herself but you know i'm trying to say oh geez um over here we got our NYCDA, oh, that is blurry. You cannot see what's going on there. So we have no uh, no progression over there. None at all. Our Bubba Kush. Again, no progression. Um, these two cups up front, these ones are our holding place for the two seeds that are still being germinated. And then back here, which one is this one? This one's green crack back here. And this one has no progression as well. So the only sproutlings that we have are our train rack auto flower. I'm just really bad with this camera right now. Cannot get the focus down. I'm jittery. I'm all over the place, oh geez. Um, so yeah, that's really the update I have today was letting you guys know that I'm going back down south over the weekend. I am not going to have my computer with me. Um, but I am going to be bringing my camera and I'm going to be bringing my seedlings. So we are going to be making, um, these, I, I guess I should say these vlogs are going to continue, but I'm not going to be able to edit them until I'm back home on Monday. I think it's Monday, possibly Tuesday. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to clump all the days together into like one part for the channel. So you're going to be missing out on like day six, seven, eight, nine, let's say, but six, seven, eight, nine will all be in one part. It'll be cool. Um, yeah, I it's it's gonna be interesting actually. I really don't know how it's gonna go down. I've never um, I've never transported seedlings that far, and I'm gonna be bringing this T5 light in my lamp, but they're not gonna have um, that light source on the road, so they're just gonna be in a cardboard box in some cup holders. Meanwhile, and. Um, Oh, check it out. That water just exposed the seed. Let's take a gander. There we go. So we've kind of just exposed that seed. We'll just let her go. 
Um, she'll just raise her head upwards and kick that shell casing off, that seed casing. Um, so if that happens to you, that's okay. You don't have, I mean, you can cover it back up with soil, but in this case, we want our seedlings to be sprouted um, just because that gives us something to read. Um, and what I mean by that is like, it's kind of hard to see what's going on underneath the soil, but as soon as you get a sproutling that pops up, you're able to tell like what she's requiring. Does she need light? Does she need water? You know, she, she lets you know through her, her chylidon leaves, through her, her starter fan leaves. Um, she, you know, you can just read a plant so much better than you can read soil. And I know that's kind of a weird thing to say, but it is the truth. Um, so with that being said, I think I covered everything, gave them some water. Let's see. I think these things are still good. Yeah, they're still nice and moist. Let's get you guys back over here in the dark and on your heat pad. And let's get this lamp up close to you girls. And let's get all y'all sprouted by tomorrow. A little pep talk right now, girls. We need you up and we need your heads held high for the road trip. We need you girls in good spirits. And um, yeah, so uh, let's do this on three. Ready? Uh, I don't know what we're gonna cheer on three, but here we go. Road trip seedlings, yeah. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I don't know. I'm really stoned, OGs. I picked up some new weed today and it's just fantastic. We got three kings, blue dream and AKOG. Superb. Um, anyways, I think with that being said, that's going to close out the video. Um, I'm going to get two more videos up before I leave. So there's the video of day four. There's going to be this video of day five. Um, possibly day six in the morning before I leave of us transplanting the seedlings and getting ready to go. Um, but that one's on the fence. I don't know how much time I'm going to have. But um, yeah, if I don't see you guys... Before uh, before I leave, then I'll see you guys when I'm back on Monday. Be looking forward for all these parts. And basically, that's it, OGs. So, with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to comment and like. And as always, OGs, smash that subscribe button so you guys aren't missing out on any of these season six continued clogs. I'm freaking parched. Girls, I hope you don't mind. I'm going to share some of this water with you. It's okay. It's just tap water. Alrighty, OGs. I'll see you later.